Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So it's becoming a tradition on this channel to cover outrage surrounding any artwork uploaded to Twitter by the artist Kyle. We have featured this artist on the channel multiple times because their artwork has an amazing ability to trigger people on Twitter. So Kyle makes a lot of artwork that features anime characters and it's more meme-like or there's dark humor in the images and it gets people really riled up. And today, we're gonna once again revisit Kyle's account and see some of the outrage surrounding one of their latest pieces. But first, I have some good news to share with you guys. So recently, I had a merch drop with the company Otakuban, and it seems like you guys are really enjoying the drop, and you can check out the merch, but I'm pleased to announce that in the week ahead of Black Friday, currently, you can get my merch through Otakuban with a 20% discount. That is active right now. If you click the link in the pinned comment, the discount will be automatically applied to your order. It is just that simple. And yeah, feel free to check out the merch. You guys definitely really enjoy it so far. And yeah, enjoy the 20% off and use it while it's still active. Thanks again to Otakuban for that. Now moving on, here is the art piece in question that we'll be focusing on today, featuring some Chainsaw Man characters. And yes, this might require a little bit of explaining. So here's the first image on the left, of course, with this ruler here. This is a reference to a pretty popular video where this girl was uh, talking about sizes and you can uh, fill in the gaps yourself there. And then there's this one right here, which I really can't show the references to this piece right here. But uh, basically, uh, based on some real life events, I can say in, in the message of this one too, uh, don't put glass bottles inside your body. I think that should be... Uh, you know, something I don't have to tell anyone, but that's kind of uh, the lesson learned from the uh, reference this art is based on. So, of course, uh, you can see this quote right here saying, Another day, another reminder that Chainsaw Man is full of fans who never read the series, apparently. Seriously, what are these quotes? And yes, as you might guess, the quotes are quite crazy. And to be fair, it's not just Chainsaw Man fans. It's really just a lot of aunties and Twitter users finding another excuse to get angry about things on Twitter and spurg out. And spurg out, they would. So uh, the first one right here, right to the point, saying uh, somebody got to dox them. Now, I don't know, far be it for me to speak on this, I think doxing someone over a meme reference in artwork is a bit extreme. A am I the only one, ladies and gentlemen, who thinks that's a bit of a severe reaction to seeing artwork on Twitter? Yeah. But uh, here's another one, a very vague one, saying, I need you gone. Ooh, how spooky and cryptic. You know what? Twitter users, you can do better than that, okay? Let's get a little more specific as to what you mean by vague threats like this. Oh, okay, this guy, uh, there's, there's the death threats, okay? Uh, to be fair, okay, it is a death threat, but it's not a direct quote. They're not actually typing this out. It's, it's an image. So could we get a little more specific than that? Okay, this user says I vote for the execution of Kyle. Okay, we, we got a lot more specific there, but could we go deeper? I mean, that's not very creative. Oh, here we go. This user says you'll be found under your couch in an unrecognizable state in exactly one year's time. Oh, something to look forward to in about a year. Well, okay, they got a little more specific with that. And I have to say... You know, credit where credit is due. Normally when aunties are making threats, they're not very creative because as much as they lack any sort of sanity, they also lack a lot of creativity. So I guess, you know, we'll give them credit where credit is due right here. Now, this next user simply says school uniform, by the way, which I'm not sure exactly what they're implying here. Are they saying there's something wrong with that? Like, are we adding this to the list? You know, like now we have the, the school uniform of consent. We'll add it to the list alongside others like the height of consent that Twitter has complained about or the face of consent because someone's face might look too youthful or something like that. But uh, this person would say, she's 16, game end yourself. Now, of course, this Chainsaw Man fan hasn't engaged with the franchise in any sort of a way if they're saying something like that because I regret to inform them that the main character who is underage is put in a lot of situations that would make this person uh, quite upset. So if they knew anything about the franchise, they would know how ridiculous this is, this is to say. And also at the end of the day, that's a character that she's not real. 
and your threats, however, are directed at a real person. And I saw this one right here saying, but if I tell you to game end yourself, I'm gonna be wrong. Yes, you would be wrong for telling someone to end their life over a piece of artwork they posted onto Twitter. Yes, that is wrong. That is not the right thing to do. This person says, at Hero, hey, look, free content. I excuse me, this is my turf. How dare you tag Hero, hey? This is my show right now. Okay, I'm just kidding. You always can feel free to tag him alongside me. But like, uh, I was going to make like a $10 wager here. Like I would get this video out before Hero, hey, but he uploads much earlier in the day than me. So he's clearly going to beat me out if he uh, makes a video about this today. But uh, yeah, more power to him. I, I just can't wake up early enough to do that. I'm sorry, guys. I have to be real with you. I'm not waking up early enough for that. But anyways, moving on, this person says, Hi, please block me if you follow this person. Slash serious. Err, slash serious. Yeah, anytime you have to use slash serious, you're, you're probably, your post probably isn't very good. But imagine thinking this would work, by the way. I always find this so funny. Do you think people scrolling around will see this and actually block you if they're following this artist? Do you think anyone's actually doing it? It reminds me of when people put like, racists do not interact in their Twitter bios as if that's going to work. Like as if an actual racist is going to approach them and see that in their bio and say, oh, well, they said don't interact. So I guess I'm just going to pack my bags and go. Like it's so silly to me. But anyways, moving on to the next one, this quote says, how does one waste so much talent on something as disgusting as this uh, of all the things I would like have a moral panic over I don't think this one is a uh, much of a big deal in terms of uh, artwork especially artwork that Kyle has posted they've done much much more edgy humor than this but anyways I always hate this idea that talent is wasted because it's used in a way that you personally don't like it's a very immature way of looking at things like if something's not tailored to your interests and your needs and wants then it's a waste of time and that's what this user right here is doing. Uh, here's another one saying, get a job, stay away from her with that classic Demi Lovato tweet right there. Uh, based on very low level observations of Twitter users and the kind of people angry about this stuff, I, I think we know who the people are that need jobs in this situation. And if anyone, you know, you're directing this also at an artist that is very successful and yeah, I don't really get this one, but I found this quote, this is a nice way to wrap it up. This is pretty funny. So in quotes, it says, that's a child, that's pedophilia, that's CP, CSEM, Epstein this, DBZ mean that. I'm sick of seeing this artist. Huh? Those are fictional characters. This kind of content isn't unexpected. He's drawn Dawn from Pokemon. Oh, I can block accounts and stop interacting with them. I mean, yeah, it's really just that easy. If you don't like things on Twitter, just block them and move on. If you really hate this artist, you could completely rid yourself of them with literally a few clicks and you'll never see them again. Yet these Twitter users will ignore that and just continue to complain about Kyle every single time they upload. And you know what I'm gonna do in response and that's farm them for YouTube content as always. So make sure you uh, give the post a like. I'll put a link to it in the description. Consider giving Kyle a follow and checking out any of their other material. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please share all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.